3 9.5 watt dimming LED bulb versus the Philips 10.5 watt dimming LED bulb. In this corner, we're going to have the Philips 10.5 watt LED A19 bulb. This is equivalent to a 60 watt bulb. Versus the other corner, the Cree 9.5 watt LED A19 bulb. This bulb is also equivalent to a 60 watt bulb. Please pardon my terrible accent. Both of these bulbs advertise dimming, which means you can use standard dimmers with them. They last over 25,000 hours and you will save over $130 in energy costs over the life of the bulb. Both of these bulbs can be bought in quantities at Amazon and at the time of this uh, recording the Philips was less than $3 per bulb and the Cree was less than $9 per bulb. Well, let's get to it. Welcome everybody, Jerry Miller, 007 Systems. Today we are going to be doing a demo video on two LED light bulbs. Um, one of them is going to be, and they're kind of hard to see right here, so I will include a link to the products in the uh, memo area here. But this one is the Cree screw-in light bulb. It is a 9.5 watt LED light bulb. And we will be comparing it to the Philips LED light bulb. This is my favorite here, but I'm not going to let that sway you guys. It is flat, kind of in the middle, and it runs the LEDs out on the outer edge here, which I think give it better lighting than any of the other LED bulbs out there. That's why I like this one. But those are the two light bulbs that we will be comparing right now. Now we do have one fixture up there uh, that we do have the camera trained on. We're going to put both of these light bulbs up in two different sockets and give them a run through with a dimmer switch and you can, you can decide which one you like. So let's go ahead and put those up. Okay, this side is the Cree. Now this is an existing 55 watt incandescent bulb. That's going to be our base. And this side is the Philips. So we have a Philips LED, we have the Cree LED, and we have a 55 watt incandescent. Uh, the Cree is 9.5 watts and the Philips is 10.5 watts. So it's a difference of about a watt. So now we're going to turn both on. And you can see they, uh, they light up quite similar. Uh, the Cree has a kind of a, a coating around it that diffuses the light. But I've noticed if you stand right underneath the light bulb, there's kind of a bare spot. And I'll bring the camera around when we're closer to finishing this to show you that. But the one on the right is the Philips, and you can see um, that the LED is around the outer ring of the light bulb. And in my opinion, it gives you a better light all the way around. And so let's go ahead and dim this now. So that's on 100%. Okay, we're going to go ahead and dim this now. I'm going to go ahead and slowly lower it, and it'll do it in sections. It's about 50% right there, 25%, about 10% right there. Now the 55 water is almost off. You can see the difference between the Phillips and the Cree. The Cree has the LEDs around a, a kind of an outer ring inside there. And then let's see if we can get any lower. That's about, I don't want to way back on. <laughs> That's 12% there. I can't get much lower than that. That's off. So there you go, that has it. Uh, let's go back up to 100%. And again down to about 50%. So let me show you that ring I was talking about. Now this is how the Philips looks. And it's got good lighting all the way around at night compared to the Cree. But the one thing I don't like about the Cree is if you get right under it, it's got kind of a dark spot there. And it leaves kind of a little bit of a silhouette directly under it. So if you need light directly under this light bulb, it's probably not the one for you. There's our incandescent, and there's our Phillips. 
So I hope this little demo gives you a little bit of a insight as to which light bulbs to get. But there you go. Okay. If you have any questions, contact us at 007systems.com. Have a great day.